Hello YouTube, with the latest update for the Oxygen OS Open Beta for the OnePlus 3 and 3T, OnePlus is bringing a lot of cool features with this one. So in this video, we will have a check. So first of all, this is the latest Oxygen OS Open Beta OTA update for OnePlus 3 and 3T. For OnePlus 3, the version is 21 and OnePlus 3T, the version is 12. So let's go ahead and check out these features. So first of all, this is a 75 MB update file. The main attraction to this version is that parallel apps. So you can run parallel versions of the same app using the separate account at the same time. So to do that, go to settings menu. If you go to apps, you can see they entirely redesigned the app uh, settings menu. And here you can see the, all the applications installed here. And then here is the application of permissions. So you can check which application is having which kind of uh, permissions. And then you have the default apps for different purposes. So you can, uh, if you are running multiple similar apps, you can define, define which application should be selected for a particular app for the browser app. You can select Chrome, something like that again, settings. And then you have these parallel apps. So in parallel apps, you can see all the compatible applications that have already installed on your phone. Here you can see I'm use, using the Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Messenger, WhatsApp, all these things. So if, suppose if you want uh, a parallel app setup for the Facebook or Instagram or even the WhatsApp, I can turn on from here. And then if I go to the menu, I can see that two icons here. So the first one is the primary account and here he'll be having the secondary parallel account. So here I need to log in. It will be asking for the login. Here you can see and the same for the instagram here to last for the login and then same for the whatsapp so this will be my main account and the second icon will be the duo account the parallel account so i can configure that so this is a really useful stuff there were applications like parallel spaces from the play store you can download but it is good to have all these features added with the stock rom so you'll be getting the maximum performance so that is there for the panel apps next the launcher has been updated to version 2.1.5 so uh, if you tap here all settings you can see and the i'm using the version launcher version 2.1.5 with features like optimized home screen folder icon so here are the folder icons you can see the icon uh, has been changed to square instead of the round ones in previous versions and if you click on that one it'll be opening and full and if you tap outside it'll be closing automatically like that was doing for the previous ones or you can even backspace click the back button besides that if you open a folder you can simply swipe left or right to navigate from one folder to another regardless of the position here you can see two folders are here and one folder is here even if it's in a different you know, page we will be doing the same thing so if you are opening this folder and then swiping here i will, do, I will be able to navigate through all these folders at once so this is a, that is a pretty cool option and then one more feature is that drag and drop one icon to under screen previously we need to wait for this one to come but now you can tap one icon and then you can use another finger to swipe here like this and then leave it to move the icons like this so it's like we are having the multi-touch so you can use two fingers to navigate or the uh, drag and drop features so that is a really uh, awesome feature so next one is the updated gallery to the support for the lime light theme so if you're using the normal uh, dark theme you'll be getting this if you're changing your theme to the light one the according to that the even the gallery icon will be changing to the light ones and support for the opening raw format image so if you are taking raw image from the uh, camera if you, if you go to settings menu and then taking the save uh, raw image and then taking some picture then it'll, if you go to the gallery you can find that in the top so here you'll be getting the raw image as an, a small icon in the left corner so if you go to settings menu you can see this is the normal a file with the file size is around 9 10 MB and then if you go to the row you will if you take the settings you can find 31 so this is the raw file so uh, previously we were not able to open this raw image in the gallery but now it is available 
and uh, next update is like of the file manager has been updated to version 1.7.1 so if you go and open the file manager and the main feature is that if you are searching for something like oneplus or something and then you will be able to edit that plus and hold you'll be getting this edit menu it was not there in the previous versions so these are the changes happen and regarding the optimization there are like merged call history from the same number so if you go to the um, dialer you can see all this number here and you can see the room owners are like uh, multiple i've tried to call him multiple times but it's not listed here if you go to settings menu and then merge call history so all that call will be um, merged in a single and then i will be able to see all those call history so that's all the changes happened to this build and i really recommend you to try all these cool steps and it is working really well and then uh, more stable stability and then system improvements have been done to this version and even the battery backup has been improvised in my opinion so if you are still waiting for the um, update you can go ahead and search for the update in the settings menu and then system updates you can go ahead and try if you're getting anything if you are not getting the update through that uh, you can even go ahead and install the opera vpn and then change the region to canada and then check for the update so it will be able to uh, force the update to check check so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.